Question 378. Why is it not permissible to take one's own life or the lives of others? God alone is Lord over life and death, except in the case of legitimate self-defense of oneself or another. No one may kill another human being. An attack on life is a sacrilege committed against God. Human life is sacred. This means that it belongs to God because it is his property. Even our own life is only entrusted to us. God himself has given us the gift of life. Only he may take it back from us. The book of Exodus, translated literally, says, You shall not murder. Exodus chapter 20 verse 13. The only exceptions are when you're defending yourself or another person, whether in peace or war. Question 379. What sorts of attacks on human life are forbidden by the fifth commandment? Murder and acting as an accomplice to murder are forbidden. Killing unarmed civilians during a war is forbidden. The abortion of a human being from the moment of conception on is forbidden. Suicide, self-mutilation, and self-destructive behavior are forbidden. Euthanasia, killing the handicapped, the sick, and the dying, is also forbidden. Today, people often try to get around the fifth commandment with seemingly humane arguments. An example of a humane argument is when people say, it's really more helpful to commit euthanasia on older people or abortion on babies in order to make it more convenient financially for others involved. But neither euthanasia nor abortion is a humane solution. That is why the church is perfectly clear on these questions. Whoever participates in an abortion, forces a woman to undergo an abortion, or merely advises her to do so, is automatically excommunicated, just as with other crimes against human life. What about suicide? Suicide is a forbidden evil and is never what God wants for a person. But not everyone who has committed suicide has committed a mortal sin. If a psychologically ill person commits suicide, responsibility for the act of killing is often diminished. And in many cases, completely annulled because a person with mental illness is not thinking rationally in that situation. Question 380. Why is it permissible to tolerate the killing of another human being in the case of legitimate self-defense? Someone who is actually attacking the lives of others may and must be stopped, if necessary, by killing the attacker himself. Legitimate defense against aggression is not only a right. For someone who bears the responsibility for the lives of others, it can even become a duty. For example, soldiers or police officers bear the responsibility to defend other people's lives, and sometimes killing another person is the only way to protect others. Nevertheless, legitimate defense must not employ wrong, inappropriately harsh methods.
Hi, I'm Katie Locus. This is my sign name. I'm from the Archdiocese of Kansas City in Kansas. Thank you so much for watching our video this week. Hope to see you again next week. Bye!